Hello. Um, this is the first one to me. I'm going to try and do a little technical guide straight to video. And what I'm going to talk about is silver soldering. Just to debunk that a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bit of pipe. I'm going to solder on this ferrule, this little thing here. And we're going to silver solder it so it will withstand higher temperatures and then can be used to all sorts of things like higher pressures. Just give you a quick close up about what we're talking about. There we go. There's our two work items. Now, for this, we need, of course, obviously, the two bits I've just shown you. Also, some silver soldering wire. This is Easy Flow number two, and which melts, I believe, at 640 degrees centigrade. And we need some flux, which is a white powder. I'll just cut the video again, and I'll show you what it looks like. And there we go. This is whitish powder. I wouldn't recommend sniffing it. Um, it's uh, quite corrosive. And what you do is you mix that with a tiny little drop of water to a nice paste, and then what you do is you coat your work with it. So let's go with that unusual brush. And here we have some flux that I made up in here. Now, this piece of work has been cleaned very, very, very thoroughly. Okay, so I've run it under a hot tap to get all the grease off its detergent. See what I'm doing here? I'm just cut it a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Nice kind of success. Now, coat it with flux. I'm just going to slide on a little thorough nipple, whatever you want to call it. Okay. There we go. You'll see that. Twist it around so it's nice and dry and just let it dry a little bit and that'll be fine. What I'm lying it on, by the way, is a little brazing hearth, which is uh, a couple of bricks I've compressed for missile light. And that reflects the heat back nicely and that uh, allows you to heat things up a little bit more quickly and evenly, which is really important because you want to deliver, deliver a lot more heat than you would do for normal stuff solving. I'm also, just to make things easier for myself, um, I'll turn it around actually so you can see better when I solve it. Uh, how's that? That's nice and visible. Let's not slide it off. I'll just give it a bit more support. There we go. That's okay, isn't it? So I can see, uh, really see what's uh, going to happen when we uh, get back into the soldering. Now, of course, the other thing we're going to need is a nice blowtorch. Now, this is a fairly standard butane propane plumber's torch and that will do the job nicely and um, a, um, a lighter to light it with. Now, use my silver soldering wire and just uh, going to put a little bit of flux in the end of that just to coat it a little bit. That makes things just a tiny little bit easier. Right, cutting back to the interesting bit. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm uh, going to light my torch. There we are. At the same time, I'm going to try not to set fire either to my laptop, which I'm using to record this, or my video camera, as that would not be good. Right. Now, at this point, unfortunately, I have to switch to a um, a voiceover because the uh, the torch is just making too much noise. So uh, this may sound very slightly unnatural but otherwise it's going to just going to be too strange so what i'm doing here with the torch i'm just drying out the flux on the on, on the piece a little bit you can see it just hardening up and bubbling out a little bit and what we want to look out for at the point where we start heating it up is the point where the flux goes sort of uh runny and clear and sort of starts swirling over the piece of work um trying to find a slightly tighter focus here so I have to bear with the video just for a moment uh, as you can probably tell I'm not exactly professional at this kind of thing there we go we're getting a slightly better focus wait for it there it is well done Mr. Marchinaro okay so the flux is now nice and dry 
So any second now you'll see the blowtorch just coming into picture and we will start heating up the flux quite vigorously. There we go. At one point you'll see it run clear at the same point probably where the work starts, sort of glowing a dull cherry red. But still bubbling now, you see it's still white and crusty. Now it's starting to change, do you see that? And at the point where it sort of goes glassy and clear and runs into the work, now it's starting to run. So it's now, see it running there? So it's right about time to get the solder out. Here it comes and just touch it to the joint for a moment and see what happens. Not quite hot enough. And there we go. And it runs straight into it. Maybe a touch more. There we are. And that is actually absolute perfection. Heat it up a little bit to let it run. And that's um, the soldering pretty much done. Now all you need to do is let it cool down because this is going to be very, very hot. And you will at this point also have annealed the pipe. It will be a lot softer. So there we are, and that was uh, a little bit of uh, silver soldering for you. Now hopefully we can now switch back to the original audio. One, two, three. Don't be tempted to touch it because it is going to be bloody hot. Now the flux will dry really, really hard, and uh, the way to get that off, you can either pickle it in some form of acid, if you've got a large workpiece, or you can just polish it off, which is what I normally do, or a bit of vinegar takes it off as well. Works very, very nicely indeed. So there we are, um, I'm not going to touch it, I'm just going to let it dry a little bit and uh, it all looks good. So here we are, that is a proper silver soldered join. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed yourself. Right, and just when you thought you'd seen it all, I just want to show you what it looks like, the whole thing, after... Um, it's all sort of polished up and nicely cleaned up. There it is. Look at that. Very nice. Properly silver soldered. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not going to come off in any easy way. Okay, so that is a very secure bit of soldering and resistant to very, very high temperatures. One point I forgot to make is... Um, that if you want to do silver soldering make very very sure that in your joint to be soldered there is no trace of any sort of soft solder because you cannot silver solder over tin it just doesn't work um, I don't know why not but it just doesn't and of course as, all more, as always your great enemies are grease and carbon so in, um, in silver soldering cleanliness is indeed next to godliness and on, and on that little homily, I shall wish you good night and leave you all in peace. So, uh, from Cardiff in um, presently quite sunny South Wales, UK, this is Adlon, aka Mooseman, wishing you a very pleasant evening. Goodbye. Bye bye.